hello guys welcome to this new video today we are going to create a logo intro using Camtasia studio 9 at the end of our editing our video may look like this so without wasting any further time let's get started So first uh, open the link which I have given in the description so it will take you here so click on this one download and download this RAR file which will be helpful for us to create our intro so I'll be not I'll not be downloading that because I already have that so I'll be extracting it on my desktop Click on extract here so open these logo intro files these are the three video files which are necessary for us to create our intro so let's get started so I'll open Camtasia Studio 9 and import these background with triangles and a logo background I'm not selecting this middle file I'll be telling you why did uh, what is the use of that file so I'll open these two and I'll drag the first one first video to the track one and I'll zoom out a little bit on the timeline like this and I'll again drag this logo background on top of this video which I have dragged before so as you can see these are the two video files so both of them have the audio so I'll remove remove the audio of the logo background video this video the upper video which is present on track 2 so right click and press edit audio and drag this green line to the bottom like this and as you can see so it has read uh, one, uh, only one audio right now both of these video files contain the same weird, uh, same audio I created these background videos so, so we can create our intro pretty easily so next thing you wanna do is at the uh, drag this pointer here like at the starting of this uh, when the circle appears at that point like this and go to animations and uh, click on the shapes and select the circle and drag this one at the point at this point and resize this circle to the background circle like this As you can see our shape is like pretty much in that circle and the next thing you want to do is choose your logo I mean import your logo which you have already created so I'll be choosing my own channels logo so this is my logo and I'll be dragging that one on top of the shape layer and I'll resize my logo so that it fits the circle like this okay it's, uh, as you can see the logo has been fitted very nicely in that circle so next thing you wanna do is to select this logo background video and click here more and go to visual effects and remove choose this effect or let's remove a color and drag this on this uh, logo background video so and uh, once you do that go here like for properties and select the color and click on this 
I click on this and select this black color here. What it did is that it removed the background, black background, which the logo background video had. So our intro is almost ready as you can see. So, but as you can see, we have not positioned, positioned the shape not so accurate so i'll position this one a little bit further like this this is nice yes as you can see our intro is almost ready now so uh and finally you have to add the transition which you like so i'll be adding this uh, glow which is nice and drag this one a little bit further like this and again this one like this and also at the beginning of the video both the videos and make sure you drag this shape here till the end so as you can see we have created our intro i think we have to resize this local background which will look better i guess yes we have to resize this one make it smaller by selecting yes make it smaller and drag it one a little bit above like this this is fine as you can see we have created our logo intro At the end, you can add another transition you like. Uh, like, so I'll be adding again this fade to all of the all of the layers. Guys, one more thing that you can do is that there's a, another file called as this one in the RAR, which is named like where is the RAR? Yeah, so this one background without triangle. So it is also only containing the visualizer it doesn't have any background like this one it has a blue background here but this video doesn't have any blue background but it only has these wave, uh, wavelengths so we can you can go to more visual effects and re remove that black background Okay, it has been removed and uh, drag this one background with trackers outwards and insert the video which we have as you can see there is a, the background is black now so if you want to choose any background or you have any image you can insert that image as a background for this video so I'll be choosing this one as an example when you add this background i'll drag this background image like this here and drag all these layers upwards and drag the image background which you want to choose and drag this one like this as you can see our uh, we have a new background here so to move make it look more neat we have to add like blur so as you can see it also looks nice so i'll keep this blur Capacity is like 80, 85. 85 is nice. As you can see, we have created our new own background.
so thank you for watching please hit that subscribe button and make sure you like the video and also press that bell notification thank you